to come on the show. He likes what he's doing. <laughs> You're so right, Milton. I do like what I'm doing. I was just admiring this rifle, and in case you think I'm going hunting, I am. I'm hunting for people who still haven't tried Buick's great new V8 engine. That's a wonderful engine for a lot of reasons, including this one. It has a higher compression ratio than any other American motor car. Now, high compression is something that everyone seems to want. They think it's a good idea, but have you ever asked yourself why it's a good idea? Well, let me tell you. Uh, this rifle, by the way, will help me explain high compression. Uh, this is a high-powered Winchester, model 94. It takes a big 170-grain 30-30 cartridge like this one. Now, over here is a series of heavy wooden blocks clamped together. That's what they use in the lab when they're making ballistics tests. Now, if I were to put this cartridge in the rifle and pull the trigger, that bullet would travel through more than 42 inches of that solid wood. Now, what do you think gives that bullet its velocity? Well, you might say, well, it's the gunpowder. Well, gunpowder does have something to do with it, but it isn't the gunpowder alone. Something else is needed. Compression. Now, what I'd like to do is to open up this cartridge, pour out the powder, and uh, touch a match to it. And what would happen is nothing, except a bright little flame. Safety regulations prevent me from lighting the powder or firing the rifle here in the studio, so I'm going to show you a short movie made in the Winchester Ballistics Laboratory. Now, watch this. Here is the technician opening a cartridge like I showed you, pouring out the powder. Now, when he strikes the match, notice how close his hand is. He knows how slowly loose powder burns. There's no explosive force because there is no compression. Now for the next test. He loads the rifle with another cartridge, just like the one I showed you. And he aims the rifle at that string of blocks. He pulls the trigger. And now that bullet bores a neat little hole. Now these are the very same blocks you just saw in that film. Now, here is the bullet hole. Now let's unclamp them. And that bullet traveled through Five blocks, 10 blocks, 15, 20, 25, and here it is, protruding through the 26th block. All because that powder was fired under high compression. Now, it's much the same with gasoline. I could spill a drop of gasoline on this table, light it, and it would simply burn, not explode. But when you take that drop of gasoline, vaporize it, feed it into the combustion chamber of an automobile engine under high compression, you get terrific driving force. And the higher the compression, the greater the force. That's why it's important to know that a Buick gives you a higher compression ratio than any other American motor car. So friends, it's your next move. How about trying out one of these great Buicks for power, for getaway, for ride, for comfort, and a lot of other things you've always wanted in an automobile? I promise you, it'll be a thrill. And uh, one thing more, right now is the time when your Buick dealer will give you a wonderful trade-in allowance on the car you now own. How about seeing him real soon? <laughs>